My name is Teresa Wick. Today I'm going to talk about making a series. So, making a few things that all look the same, the same size. Now I have an order for eight mugs. And the people have some specific requirements. They want their mugs to be no taller than three inch, three quarter. They want it to hold 14 ounces. So although this is not a mug, I have this piece and this holds 14 ounces and is exactly three inch, three quarter tall. A little different from the mug that I typically make. The pointer takes care of the height of it and also the top diameter. I also want to measure the bottom diameter. It's about three and a quarter. So if I multiply three and a quarter times 112% because my clay shrinks 12%, and I know that that's about 3.6, just over three and a half inches. I get my ruler and my calipers, measure them out to the three and a half, a little bit larger. So now I know that when I'm throwing on the wheel, I can use my calipers, stick it in here on the bottom, just to make sure that my bottom width is looking good as well. I know I'm gonna trim some of that clay off and it's gonna be shaped a little bit, but at least now I have the measurement of my bottom, the height, and the top diameter. The other thing that really helps when making a series is starting out with the same amount of clay. This rod coming out, all that I've done here is I've stuck, I put some clay in a plastic bag, I stick the rod in, put some clay in a plastic bag, stick the rod into it. I have a piece of wood here to bring up the height of it. I lay the clay back down. I put it about a quarter of an inch, so I'm just trying to set it up so that my wire coming out here, my piece of metal, is a quarter of an inch from the outside edge of the rim. You can see it there. And then I have it so that the top of my metal is the top of the rim. That way I know I'm not going to go any taller than that, and I have a little bit of play in there. But those are my main two measurements I need to know, what the height I can have it is, by putting this here a quarter inch away, it also tells me the width of my rim so that my tops are all going to be the same diameter. They're all going to be the same height. And my calipers, I know I'm going to start out with the same base. It takes a little bit of getting used to having this here. You're used to normally being able to put your hands there. get pretty used to it and if I do bump it then I can easily put that first mug back on the wheel center it and figure out where I am so that I can put the steel back where it belongs After I open it up, I go back through and I compress the bottom. That just helps so that I don't get S cracks when it dries. Now I go a little bit taller than I want to to begin with. So I know that I have the height. As I start to shape the form, it's going to make it shrink a little bit. And if I have more clay than I need, it's very easy to just trim it off, which this time I do. Just use my needle tool. Finish shaping it. This one's a tiny bit wider than my other one was, so I'm just going to call her again. Now when I curl my rim out, what 
to rim to curl out a little bit. It makes it nice so it pours, easier to drink from. Now when I curl my rim out, it's just about the size I want it. As you can see, I've thrown about a dozen mugs. I've let them sit overnight so they're firm enough, they hold their shape. Now I'm going to trim them.